welcome to my channel, New Body. I am Latreviet, and I will be doing a general reading for the collective audience today. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber of mine, welcome back. Thank you for your support. I appreciate it. Still, like the video. All right. So let me get on with my disclaimer. Let folks know and remind those who have been here day one. Uh, while I am a holistic health practitioner and will often speak upon holistic health and wealth, holistic health and wellness, spiritual health, spiritual wellness, physical health, mental health. Just know that it's the energy that I am picking up on. I am not a licensed medical professional. I do not diagnose. I do not prescribe. I do not treat and I do not cure. If you feel triggered or resonate negatively by my message, please reach out to your licensed medical professionals and or therapists. Take care of that. Same goes for any messages that flow through me that discuss crime and violence. Just know that it's the energy that I am picking up on. Again, if you feel triggered or resonate negatively by my message, please reach out to your local PD and or legal people. All right, handle that. So I'm going to ring my singing bowl now. It's going to clear the energy, raise the vibration so that I am getting the best messages for our highest good for you and me. Here we go. Alrighty. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Or whatever it is, whatever day it is for you when you see this message. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So we're going to get started. We're going to see what's the tea, what's popping, who's in our energy, what's going on. What do we need to know and what do we need to do about it? It's not just enough to know what's going on. Got to take action. Call to action. So let me start off with the Kipper deck by iKev. All right. First card out is Obsession. So Obsession is in the reverse. I got some new glasses, people. I need to stop buying glasses, but these I feel like are amazing. They are computer glasses, and they're in my prescription range so beautiful they're actually blue but you can't really tell they're blue to go with my scarf anywho obsession obsessions in the reverse so either someone was obsessed and they're not anymore or someone wanted you obsessed collective and that didn't happen let's see what else is going on conflict so someone has a conflict, could have a conflict with you not being obsessed with them. That's a problem for them because you're not obsessed. You are going about your business. So either they want conflict with you because you're not obsessed with them. Well, they could be having conflict within themselves because you're not obsessed. We'll get more information. Travel. So someone's unable to travel. They cannot. I feel like they cannot move on, but they're unable to travel or they're not traveling at this time. We'll get more. We'll get more. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? Someone wants to reach out, communicate with you. Could be this person who has conflict with you. That could be the conflict that they wanted you to be obsessed with them, but you're not reaching out. You're not communicating with them. Somebody wants to communicate with you. Let's get more. Protection. Because you're protected from this person. All right, so someone wants to reach out to you. 
they're a little perturbed that you are not obsessed with them. I really keep hearing they cannot move on, but it's travel in reverse. Maybe they're unable to travel to you, but they want to reach out to you, but you're protected from this person. They, they want conflict with you. They want that smoke. See that smoke coming out their ears? They want all that smoke. They're unable to travel to you because you are protected. You are protected from them reaching out to you. You could have this person blocked. Spirit, divine, your ancestors could have this person blocked. I love these glasses. These are, these are like, they call I call Blu-ray or I call them blue blockers because they're big. <laughs> but um, they're the computer glasses. Keep that light. So let's see. We're going to break out the archetypes before we get into the tea. Any more tea. And see, you know, what kind of person this is. Who wants you obsessed? Thief! This is a thief! Thief in the shadow attribute says stealing money, creative ideas, affection, or other powers you think you lack. I feel like it's other powers they lack. But anyways, it's thief in the reverse. So you got a thief who's obsessed with you, collective, and is mad because they're blocked from traveling to you and reaching out to you. They want to connect with you, steal more stuff, more energy, more time, more money. And the divine said, no. It's a no for me, dog. Could be a mother, your mother. Could be... Your mother, it could be the mother of the person you were involved with. But it's in reverse. It says mother in the shadow attributes is a smothering person. Smothering or abandoning children. Instilling guilt in children for becoming independent. So this could be someone's mother who... I'm, I'm going to say it this way, Collective. This could be your mother, Collective, who stole time, energy, possibly money, possibly other things, ideas, creative, your creative juices. And then when you blocked them, they're, they're, they're getting mad because you blocked them because you will not allow them to steal anything else from you. They're mad because you're not obsessed with them. Ain't that a kick in the pants. Dilettante. Dilettante is in reverse. The shadow attributes of dilettante says pretension to much deeper knowledge than you actually possess. They act like they know stuff, but they don't really know stuff. This is... This is a mother. Mother's supposed to love you, nurture you, teach you. But this person acts as if they know probably more than you, but does it. I remember, rest her soul, uh, several, several years ago. I think it was after I finished my first year of college and I was having a conversation with my mother and what she was saying was incorrect. Now, people of my mother's generation, my mother included, they don't like to be corrected, wrong or not. You just don't correct them. And I corrected her. And she snapped on me and said, Oh, you think you're better than me because you've been to college. No. She, 
it was that, but she also said, you think you know more than me because you've been to college. And I said, well, no, what you just said was incorrect. And she didn't even like that even more. But this is the energy that I, I'm feeling exactly this from somebody's mother. So somebody in the collective, your mother's a thief. She's mad because you're not obsessed with her. Maybe she want to reach out to you and snap on you. But she can't travel to you. She's trying to reach out to you, but you're protected. You are protected. So whatever you are doing to protect yourself, keep doing that. And your team, your residence team, will continue to protect you. If that's what you ask for, if that's what you want. Child wounded. Child wounded is in the reverse. The shadow attributes of child wounded says blames all dysfunctional relationships on childhood wounds. Resist moving on through forgiveness. It's in the reverse. So, you know, we tend to forget that our parents were once children. And they have trauma that they didn't heal. And then they grow up to be adults with trauma that they didn't heal. And they try to put that trauma on to their children. That's what that is. Then they get mad when the children are healing or have healed that trauma. And then they can no longer push their agenda. Confirmation. Did y'all just hear that? They can no longer push their agendas or their traumas onto their children who are now healing. Hmm. Let's get one more here. Student. Student is also in the reverse. Then now one card right here that's in the upright. Student in the shadow attributes talks about arrogance in the pursuit of destructive knowledge. What did I just say? I said in the dilettante, this mother here presents herself as knowing stuff, but she don't know nothing. This says, has the arrogance in the pursuit of destructive knowledge. So she just getting knowledge just to be mean. It says unwillingness to translate knowledge into action. She's not a very good student. She could just be gaining knowledge to twist it. What's a good example of that? I can't think of a good example at the moment, but... Could be getting information about you and twisting that information and the information is not even true. You know, a narcissist, and I, I'm not diagnosing, a narcissist will argue with you even when they know they're wrong. That's, that's this right here. That is this whole line. I've never had a reading like this before. We're going to keep going with this one. See who, what, and when is going on here. Do I want to use this thing? I've come out with a combination of decks that um, really works well, gives good insight. But it's the same decks, and I, I'm trying to use my other decks. Anywho, gathering around. It's the power of community. So you could be getting a new tribe or a new community of people who support you. It says the power of community. A real soul tribe will support you mentally. Emotionally, spiritually, physically, sometimes financially. It's card number 26. Someone could be 26, someone could be 62, someone could be born February 6th or June 2nd. That's Aquarius energy. 
and Gemini energy. 26 reduces to 8. So you could be manifesting a new soul tribe, a new community slash family. Let's see what else is coming out. The Watchers. The Watchers. Transpersonal. It's in reverse. The Watchers is card number 60. Someone could be 60. Someone could be born in June. There's Gemini and Cancer. Two Geminis out here. Whenever I think of the Watchers, or whenever I see the Watchers, I think of the Ancestors. You know, like people watching over you. But it's in the reverse, so let's see what's going on here. It says, find the witness within, the one who can observe the fire and the fury happening around you, but is not caught in any of the drama. It's in the reverse. So what that says to me is that, I feel like this mother is, is all in the drama and she's in the community with the drama creating drama about you with this uh, dilettante card presenting pretension to much deeper knowledge than you actually possess. Arrogance in the pursuit of destructive knowledge. I feel like this mother is, is uh, bad-mouthing you in the community because you cut your energy off from her. Of course, this doesn't resonate for everyone, and I'm okay with that. You should be okay with that, too. But this mother feels like she's the mother. How dare you cut her off? She wants to reach out to you. I don't, I don't feel that she understands the magnitude of your protection. She doesn't feel like she should be protected from you. She should have access to you. That's a negative. Mini Mask. Mini Mask says your authentic self. It's in the reverse. I feel like this mother's mask is uh, coming off. People are seeing her. People in the community are seeing her for who she is, what she is, and how she is. I feel like they're, with this Watcher's card being in reverse, you know, she's doing it for attention as well as taking the attention off of her but trying to put it in, put it on to you by bad-mouthing you. But I think people, I, I feel like with authentic self, she presents herself, with the, the dilettante presents herself in a specific way in the community, is the uh, how she wants to be looked at in the community. But these people around her are seeing her, her true authentic self. It's card number 38. Someone could be 38, someone could be born 1983, March 3rd or August, I mean, March 8th or August 3rd. 38 reduces to 11. 11 is in reverse. 11 is about justice. She feels like talking bad about you in the community, that's justice for her. She will get something, she will gain something off of that arrogance in the pursuit of destructive knowledge. 
So you know something about your daughter and you're going to put it out there in a destructive way. Well, you know my daughter didn't finish college. You know. She got pregnant. <laughs> I'm not laughing at that situation because many people have gotten pregnant while in college, myself included. I went back to college after my daughter got older, but that's why I brought that up because that was my own situation. But <laughs> moving on, we have horned cactus resourcefulness. I feel like this community of people is turning away from this mother figure now and she's losing her resources. Not only is she losing her resources in the community, she's losing her resources in terms of uh, clients, customers, jobs, like resources are gone, money. Some of these people in the community were her customers, her clients, and they are turning, they are not, uh, patronizing her they're turning their back on her they're not giving them giving her their time or her their money it's card number 29 so one could be 29 so one could be born in 1992 29 reduces to 11 11 again is justice she doesn't feel like it's justice that she don't have any money that she's you know telling everyone in the community or anyone who would listen how bad of a daughter you are or how bad of a son you are. Because you will not allow her back in your energy. You have two 11s out here. 11, 11. Man, all these cards are in reverse. Dances on one foot. The balancing act, and it's in reverse. What'd I say? She don't have any resources. She doesn't have any money. She is balancing and juggling. She really wants to reach out to you. She wants your help. She wants your support. Even though she bad-mouthed you. She wants your resources. It's card number nine. Nine is about cycles ending. It's in the reverse, though. Nine is also about things coming to fruition in attainment. It's in the reverse. Her resources have ended. How are we doing for time? 23, 23 on the clock. She is juggling her resources, trying to balance. I was going to say she's trying to balance out what she said and done, but that wasn't true. She's trying to juggle the resources. Trying to hold on to what she has left because, again, the resources that she had in terms of networks and clients, customers, you know, job situation, that's done. Authority. You have authority over self. Don't let anyone else claim that over you. Having authority over self is uh, really important. People don't understand that. And people don't claim that. And that therefore, others take advantage of that. So this card represents the masculine qualities of leadership, logic, strength, wisdom, and power. Regardless of gender, we all hold masculine and feminine energies. That's what make us balanced. You know, but then there's some people 
You have some men who uh, exude more feminine energy than masculine energy. And then you have some women who exude more masculine energy than feminine energy. You gotta balance it out. Know when to use what, when. It says now is when you must act like a leader and exert your will by incorporating form and structure into ideas, plans, and foundations. So something, something is uh coming into fruition for you. It's card number four. It's about structure and stability. So your structure and stability could be changing or it's asking you to step into that leadership role so that can change for you and possibly improve. Love begins. Love begins is in the reverse. So either someone's blocking love someone's blocking you from receiving love collective which is why you need to step into your authority and take ownership of self and remove those blockages cleanse that energy or you will not have a new beginning in love the way to gain The waiting game is about divine timing. If someone did something to block love for you, they're waiting to see if, if what they did is working. Take authority over your life or that block will stay there and you will not have the love that you are seeking Wherever, however long or whatever is going on with whatever block they sent to you. Intuition. Intuition is in reverse. So again, they're blocking you from receiving love. Then they're hoping that you won't use your intuition. They trying to block your intuition from one's oh, confirmation from seeing what they're doing. And they're waiting to see if what they're doing is is working so cleanse your energy cleanse your third eye chakra cleanse your crown chakra so that you can receive the messages see clearly think clearly hear clearly and take authority over your life there's a ah uh, I'm not good with the Bible but there's some scriptures, if that's your thing, um, on taking authority. And if you really do want to know, I'll look it up for you, put it in the comments, and I will do that. It's card number two. You have two number twos here. This is about relationships. As I just said, love begins is in the reverse. They're trying to block your relationship. They're trying to block love, block you from receiving love. They don't want you to see it. They don't want you to see who's coming. Because then obviously if you see who's coming, then you would go to that person. But they don't want you to see them doing this to you. They want your whole intuition, your whole gift shut down. Conflict and defeat. They're sending you conflict. Now, I said they could be this mother figure working with others in the community to do this. But if it's this mother figure sending conflict because she doesn't want you to have love, she wants to have authority over you, which is why she's mad because you're not obsessed with her. You're not allowing thoughts and feelings towards her to affect you. She wants authority over you. 
Authority over you would be full control of your mind, body, and spirit. How you do, what you do, where you go, and who you go with. How much you make, where you work. She doesn't want you to be better than her. Or do better than her. But that's all changing. That five on there. Ooh, I don't know if you can see it. Five is about change. It's also about conflict. It's also about chaos and challenges. I feel like with this defeat here, this is all changing for your situation collective or whoever this resonates for. Because you are going to defeat them. You are going to have authority over self. What are we looking at? 30, 50 on the clock. Alright, I'm going to close it out with the Citadel and the Angel Message. light says new projects and learning it's in the reverse that says to me that someone's trying to block the new projects that's coming into your life they do not want you to learn anything new because if you had new projects in your life new projects new money new friends new community new 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 you can have a new life she doesn't want that for you or well, there's people out there who don't want that for you. I'm not about to. Hmm. Who knew? Who knew? Learn something every day about this deck. It says, this card shows an alkalite who has not progressed as fast as their peers. What did I say? She did not want you to be better than her, do better than her, or have better than her. Y'all don't hear me though. I didn't even need to look this up. I'm just confirming. It says, don't let yourself get overwhelmed. It says, everything that you've learned is still helping you to grow and reach your goals. It just hasn't come to fruition yet. As long as you continue to strive forward, you will achieve your goals. People are always about this, I need to be better than her or him or do better do better than yourself. Be better than the self that you were yesterday. Be better than the self you were this morning. Eight billion people on this rock. You're going to compete against everybody on this rock. Some people choose who they want to compete against. Because they think whoever they chose is weaker than them. Forgotten it says missed opportunity, fear of failure. This mother figure has a fear of failure, she doesn't want to fail. She doesn't want to be less than you. She wants to be better than you. Fear of failure. She doesn't want to fail. That's crazy. You know how many people who have made it have failed before they made it? All of these are upside down. The Enchanter. Deception and Trickery.
Collective, if you don't pay attention, you will miss the opportunity to learn a new project. Someone will try to deceive you. It could be this confirmation, confirmation. It could be this mother figure. It could be someone else. You just need to tap in, pay attention. Use your intuition. Tap in. Strengthen your intuition. Protect your intuition. Protect yourself. Thief! What? Come on! Thief! This is the second time thief has come out. This, this thief is selfish. It says seizing the moment and selfishness. This thief wants to steal this new project from you. There will be trickery and deceit. You need to stay woke. Let's get this angel message. Three, one, zero. Angel number three, one, zero says. Transfer energy. Giving is receiving. Your angels are asking you to channel the divine and give back to those in need. Your own gift comes from when you give to others. Take inventory of a few people in your life who may need more than they feel comfortable asking for and do something special for them. Pay it forward. Pay it forward. You know, it, it's, it doesn't have to be something elaborate. It could be something as small as buying someone a cup of coffee if you can afford it. It could be something as small as, hey, you look nice today. Someone could be having a bad day and you tell them they look nice and, you know, no one has talked to them all day or they were just deep in their thoughts and you said something nice to them and brightened up their day. Pay it forward. Well, this is your message and I thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Bye.